uh, on the antithesis of that is a bad meeting. Now that could be uh, happen for many, many reasons. One, it could be a poorly planned meeting, and that's happened to, to myself before. I mean, even as a CEO of a company, I've flown in and I didn't really under, I didn't really have the agenda, so I asked my assistant, "Where's the agenda?" And I found myself in a a myriad of problems that I wasn't even made aware of that that country particularly had in that office. So it's a really good idea to make sure that you understand what your agenda is. And then those people who really matter should be in that meeting. And then you need to have someone who's controlling it, not like a dictator, but helping the whole thought process flow. Um, a bad meeting uh, also that can not only uh, fail to produce results, but can actually put you back, put, put a department back, or actually demotivate the very, very people that could have actually been the driving force and to, to have the buy-in for, um, for forward mobility of your thoughts, for your projects, and for your organization. So really, really key here to, to understand that. <coughs> now, people hold bad meetings because of, as I said, lack of preparation, which certainly I've been guilty of before. Um, or you might have somebody who just absolutely has an attitude that is, just, there's no way they're not going to be heard and whatever they have to say is more important than anything else. In other words, ego gets in the way. This is one of the case studies we'll talk about today when Edward de Bono developed the, 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 the six thinking hats where they were able to actually um, disperse the whole ego problem so that everyone could get on board and understand the different processes of how everyone has a particular pers perspective and how to use that perspective constructively so that you can have the best outcome. So, how do you prepare for a meeting? Well, I think what I would suggest to you is that you really think about the parties that are going to be uh, at, at the meeting. More importantly, what is going to be your objective? So, these are the quick tips that the, we put together for you. To make your meeting successful, avoid meetings unless they really, really, really need to happen. Um, have a goal in each meeting or a or a list of goals that, or outcomes that you want to um, achieve. Make sure that you prepare an agenda and circulate your agenda at least to the people that matter. Um, keep your agenda small and short. 26 items to cover in 60 seconds, 60 minute meeting is a little bit too optimistic. And make sure that you do track everything that you've agreed upon and follow up on.